because last year obviously I couldn't play and I think it was pretty hard for me. Uh, that, that month or those months, uh, it was actually pretty hard for me to just see my team play without me. So we are a few hours away from the start of the season finals and I'm in the presence of Oscar in the top laner Fnatic. Uh, obviously you're qualified for the finals already so right now you're chilling a bit. Uh, you have uh, <laughs> two days to just uh, watch the other teams and see what they, they're going to do. But uh, how do you feel going into season finals and uh, are you excited to be here in Munich as well? Uh, I mean yeah, for sure it's exciting to be here and um, just to be waiting in the final, see the, the teams play and see what they are drafting, what they are playing, how they are playing. Uh, I think it's way more relaxing than going from the lower bracket. So yeah, uh, it's pretty exciting to be here. For sure. And um, also, as, we, as I mentioned before we started recording, it's very nice for you because obviously last year it was very... Uh, hard on you because you you got to you got to the season finals and you played the entire year and you just couldn't be there at the very end in Montpellier which is just very unfortunate because you worked so hard like over the last two years to get to where you are right now so um, does it mean like anything special as well to you like to be here in Munich in front of this crowd and be able to just play in front of like so many people uh, I mean oh, okay, okay I mean yeah for sure it means more I guess than Normally, I would say, because last year obviously I couldn't play and I think it was pretty hard for me. Uh, that, that month or those months, uh, it was actually pretty hard for me to just see my team play without me uh, and to be in finals uh, in a huge event with a big crowd. Uh, so yeah, I think it was really hard and it means a lot to me to be here with a big crowd actually playing the final uh, yeah. I think it's way more exciting uh, than it would be probably uh, yeah. if I could have played the last time <laughs> yeah for sure and uh, obviously as well like for you uh, with Fnatic it's been like a very long year right you've been playing like the three splits you did uh, EWC and MSI as well and like now you're here uh, in the season finals the last few matches um, so just tell me like how has it been like going through the entirety of like 2024 and like how do you feel uh, in terms of as well of like stamina and like uh, just going into season finals like are you confident that you're gonna be able to perform as well as like during the rest of the year as well? Uh, I mean I think having to play the three splits all the events I think it's a bit hard in a way because you have like no break like yeah. I, I think I have 13 days at home in the whole year, in nine months, so it's actually pretty hard to just be playing League of Legends uh, every time, every day. Uh, so sometimes you feel a bit uh, tired and I think in the end of the season maybe you feel it a bit more in general. But uh, I think it, it is what it is, you know, like we are in the finals, we cannot just uh, like go down now just because we, we are feeling a bit... Uh, not yeah. burn out, but like tired, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone really wants to win in a way, and that's what uh, is motivating us right now. So, yeah, we are tired, but we really want to win. Yeah, and uh, I think a, a thing I mentioned with your jungler as well in an interview in a few days ago is that you guys have been to finals actually uh, three times, I think, this year out of the yeah. four finals. And, I mean, obviously, we already know, like, you guys... Uh, could not win it at least so far but you are given another chance right now as well and um, I think over the year it's safe to say that like a lot of people have been very critic uh, critical of Fnatic right especially like EWC and MSI and stuff as well that didn't go so well so um, has this like all affected you like mentally as well over the year like having to deal with like uh, the criticism of people and like the fact that like you had those finals and you couldn't win it. Um, has it like ever just impacted you like mentally as well, uh, or do you just not care? And is it just like another day, uh, pretty much uh, another day, another match, pretty much? Um, I mean, I, I think I don't really care what what people say. Like I don't really know what uh, the people in general think about us, about Fnatic uh, as a team. Um, I, I know that we had a pretty bad TWC and MSI. Also, the finals, uh, we could have played 
better. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I know how people perceive us, but uh, I, I don't really care, you know, like uh, I only care what uh, my teammates and I perceive about the team and how we are doing, how we feel and that's it. That's the important thing in my opinion. I mean, yeah, of course, confidence goes a long way, right? Yeah. And um, I mean, that aside, obviously, like, I think uh, the overall level of Europe has been like a bit of a weird question because like some people think to like to say that like um, <coughs> teams like Fnatic and M MDK are star starting to step up to G2's level and other people are like saying yeah but like every team look bad or whatever and like some plays are looking a bit random sometimes um, what is your take on like the overall level of like teams like G2, Fnatic, MDK and do you think like uh, that you guys are going to be able to also perform well at Worlds uh, going uh, into Berlin and like uh, Paris and everything in a few weeks as well? Um, I mean, I think it's a good question because a lot of people are thinking about Worlds already and how we're going to do internationally and a lot of people is a bit scared with the level of Europe. Uh, I think like MDK has been playing pretty well. I think they are something new. They are playing a uh, really different style from a lot of other teams, I would say. Yeah. Uh, and I think we are catching up to G2 for sure, but I, I also think G2 has not been playing that that well uh, lately. I think they are playing well, obviously. They are still a really good team, but uh, I feel like they are not showing the best form for now. Internationally, I think we are not on the best level to win against the top Asian teams uh, right now, but I think the level is improving, in my opinion, at least, uh, even though a lot of people think it's going down. Yeah. Uh, I actually think it's improving, uh, and I think we can do better against Asian teams than last year, I would say, but I think top teams like maybe Gen G, BLG yeah, yeah. must be hard, probably, uh, but we will see, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. And um, also just like moving on to a completely di different topic as well. I know that uh, you've always been like a big solo queue player, right? Uh, and you've, uh, you've been like known as well, like for your talent in solo queue and like the fact that you were always uh, reaching higher ranks. But uh, a lot of people recently have been like uh, talking about solo queue and how it's been like in not the best state in their opinion. <laughs> uh, I just want to ask quickly, like what is your opinion on the current state of like solo queue and stuff as well? Yeah. Uh I feel like every year it's getting a bit worse, honestly. Uh, and yeah, I feel like a really high solo queue player always. I play a lot and I'm always kind of high. Uh, and I don't know, I, it feels like every year it's just going down. Like, I, I feel like, in my opinion, it started going down when Divisions 5 were gone and mm. when like before, Master Plus was like 1k people, yeah. and now it's like 15k people. Yeah. And I think that's a huge problem for Hilo because you're getting like with matched with people that, in my opinion, doesn't have the level to be in those games. Yeah. Uh, and I, th I think Riot is kind of trolling Hilo for sure, because you are getting games that are really low quality because there is people that shouldn't be there, and that's not problem of the people you know like they are yeah. just climbing it's just the system I, I think they made solo queue way easier to climb and to reach master and grandmaster and these things but like the level is pretty oh. <laughs> so yeah, it, yeah. it's uh, not great so like if you get challenger games it, it's it's actually okay like they are good games but if not if you get matched with master even grandmaster it's a bit woof yeah for sure uh, and I think we are close to having to close out, but uh, just before we, we finish as well, uh, obviously G2 and MDK are playing tomorrow uh, at the time of recording at least, and you're playing them on Sunday. Um, first of all, I mean, do you have any expectations for like who you're going to face and are you confident no matter which team you face out of the two as well? Uh, I mean, uh, honestly, like I feel like any of the teams can win, like, uh, like it's weird because most of the times you kind of know or have a feeling or of, okay, I think this team will win, I think they are a bit better, but like this time I feel like it's kind of 50-50. I, I want to see how G2 prepares against MDK because the first time they played, they were not prepared for their uh, picks and their flex and everything. Yeah. So I want to see how they draft and prepare, but uh, I, th I think it's going to be kind of close uh, and it's going to be probably a fun series. I, I think 
probably he too is taking it for a bit, but I, I actually don't really know. But if I have to say someone, it would be G2. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I think like in the in the head of everyone, it's G2, and in <laughs> the hearts of uh, other people, it's probably MDK, right? It's yeah. like uh, the head against the hearts. But uh, I mean, if you if if you do uh, face MDK as well, like you you might have to play against uh, Merwin's Nidalee top as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, w uh, just quickly as well, what do you think even if, uh, about Nidalee top? Because I saw like a lot of people call it completely useless or something, like especially past lining face, right? Uh, but you played against it three times uh, the the other series as well, so like. Do you have any opinion in general about the top? I mean, I think like he just blinds it because it's a really strong blind. And I don't think it has many counters, and the counters are like also, in my opinion, kind of useless jumps probably. <laughs> so, if you want to match the laning phase strong, like you are not gonna be a useful champion later on. So it's a bit weird. Yeah. Uh, I think past laning phase, it's way weaker for sure i don't think it's super useless but uh, i think it's not great yeah. uh, but it's just a really good blind that nas it doesn't do science almost anything like it secures you a good early game and yeah it, it's a decent champion till mid game i guess yeah so I, I think it's not but it, it just depends on the comp you are building yeah Fair enough. Well, in any case, uh, Oscar, thank you very much for talking with us today. It uh, was very fun. And uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck uh, against whoever you're going to face. <laughs> it's 50-50, so we yeah. don't know. But uh, yeah, in any case, hopefully we'll talk again soon and uh, have a good match on